You just heard Kramer. His theory is if we get a weaker than expected jobs report, markets are just set for a rally. Agree or disagree? I agree. I think, um, you know, there's a lot of anxiety about the economy being too strong, inflation being too hot. So if you do see the Friday jobs report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics confirm what we saw out of ADP, um, and I know historically the two have not really correlated that well, but if you do see a shortfall of tomorrow, I, I think that will give a further boost to Treasuries, similar to what you saw yesterday. And the drop in yields will be a big relief to stocks. However, um, you know, to the extent you really start to see data deteriorate going forward, stocks are eventually going to have to reckon with a slower growth outlook, um, which is why I think, you know, sustained rallies in the market up to about, you know, 4,500 or so should be faded rather than chased, um, because I do think that you're going to have a, a more somber growth outlook over the coming quarters. All right, let's focus on today. We're looking at the futures right now. The Dow futures down about 120 points, even though we have seen bond yields ease a bit. What are you expecting from today's action? Are you expecting any rebound in bond yields? So I think the, the, jobless, the jobless claims at 830 will be an interesting data point to watch. Um, you know, that's kind of the, the, the most real-time indicator we get from the government as far as um, underlying economic activity. So it's been very low for, for a while. It has certainly not indicated any softness in the labor market, so that will be an important indicator. Um, but I, I think it's sort of healthy that you're not seeing a really sharp follow through this morning in stocks. I think that you know you market rebounds, sustained rebounds are kind of born out of skepticism, fear, and pain. And so there's definitely a lot of that around. If we were to see another really sharp rally in the futures, I would be skeptical of it. So I think it's somewhat encouraging as far as sustainability of, of a move higher that we're seeing um, you know a little bit of a give back this morning. All right, again, we're really focused on today. So right now, are there any sectors that you would put money to work in or maybe you would just stay away from knowing the volatility in yields? So I think the sectors that are going to benefit from a drop in yields that, but are also not that economically sensitive, um, like utilities or pharma, stand out just given how I see things playing, in the, at, playing out over the coming weeks. Like I said, I do think yields have uh, downside risk as the economic activity deteriorates. Um, and so you, utilities and farm are two groups that give you exposure to the yield drop um, without leaving you at risk of, of a, you know, a sharp deterioration in growth momentum. All right. Also, we're seeing Microsoft and Amazon in the crosshairs of regulators over in the UK. Those shares down a bit right now in the pre-market. Are you expecting this to be a tough day for mega cap tech just on you know, regulation concerns going forward? I don't think so much the news out of the UK is a bigger is a big deal. Um, you know, I think what you're seeing in the US, where you have you know Google in the middle of a trial right now with the DOJ and Amazon battling uh, an FTC lawsuit. I think those are the much bigger threats than what what was announced in the UK today. Although it does fit in with the broader pattern of of these companies coming under enormous regulatory scrutiny, um, you know, around the world. And so that's the UK is just one small example. But I think investors are much more concerned with the outcome of the Google trial. Um, and then and then and then the outcome of the upcoming Amazon FTC trial.